Hello, my name is John Saul. I am with Mikan Technologies in St. Louis, Missouri. This is a demonstration of how you can use the DocuWare Forms module in the new version 6.10 to help you with your onboarding process. To begin, we just have a simple URL link that we're going to follow to go into the system. We're going to hit enter. We're going to have log in to DocuWare so that we know we are valid in what we're doing. And we're going to start filling out three onboarding forms at one time. That is the W-4, the Missouri W-4, and the I-9 form. So we're actually going to go through the entire process to show you the speed. I'm going to come up and select today's date. I'm going to enter a fake first name, a middle initial, and last name. The person doesn't have any other names, their social security number, and I'm obviously going to make this fake so that you don't have to be concerned. Street address, if you're old enough to remember the Munsters. That's their old address. Apartment number four. City is Deadwood. And the state, I'm going to use a pull down and select Missouri. My, the zip code is going to be 43999. Uh, Joseph is married. He's the head of a household. And uh, his uh, wife's name is Morticia. Uh, the social security card name matches. I'm going to have three federal deductions, or he is. There's not going to take any additional withholding. He's not an exempt employee. He has three state exemptions. He's not withholding anything else. And um, Joe was was born on July in 1884. He's an old guy. He doesn't have a personal email address, and his daytime phone number is 999-9999. He is a U.S. citizen. Uh, he doesn't have an ISIS number, doesn't have uh, a 99 form, all that other stuff. He can work until date, but he does need to sign his name. So I'm going to come up here and say Joseph. E. Smith. I don't like that. I'm going to clear it, try it again. E. Smith. I'm now going to submit the form. And it's going to grind here for a few seconds. It says the form is successfully completed. So Joseph can just go ahead and clear that. We're going to go back and go into DocuWare, and we're looking at HR form, and I'm going to look for anything that was submitted today. I'm merely going to go with an X, come down here and put it in an X, and say search. And when this comes up, I should have three forms, because I'm making out three different documents. The first one is the I-9 form. We're going to zoom in here a little bit so you can see that the form has indeed actually been filled out, has the birth date in we put on, has the name, has social security number, middle initial, telephone number. He's marked that he's a U.S. citizen. And there's a signature. So that one was successfully done. I'm going to zoom back out to full screen. I'm going to come back and go and uh, click on the next one, which happens to be the Missouri I-9. I'm going to zoom in a second time and show you that, once again, it has filled out the form properly. And he's married, had a household, which is what we need to have. We come down here 
and you'll see that his name is indeed signed on the document and today's date has been applied. We're going to go to the third document, which is the W-4. We're going to zoom in one more time down here at the bottom. And you will see again the form has been filled out, has his signature, it does show he's married, there's a social security number, and there's the date. So in this very brief video, you have seen that a person can easily enter the information one time. You will populate three required forms for your employment with this organization and they have been stored and indexed in DocuWare and you can see that we do indeed have all of the appropriate information that it's supposed to be. If you have any questions you can give me a call uh, at Mike and Technologies. Uh, our offices are located in St. Louis, Missouri. Our office number is 314-961-0501. Thank you very much. Hopefully this brief demonstration has shown you the power of DocuWare Forms.